Hi, I'm Chris Frankel, Director of Programming here at Fitness Anywhere, and welcome to this month's Ask the Trainer. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over some things you're doing wrong in your workout. Having coached hundreds of people through workouts on the TRX and seeing thousands of people do their workout in the military, professional sports, and in fitness centers, there's some things that just about everybody missed the boat on. So we're going to point out a couple of cues that you want to make sure you're getting in your workout. First thing we're going to do is work through a chest press which seems pretty straightforward. It seems like a push-up, a way you can make it a little bit in, more intense, less intense. But the place you have to start every time is with a good plank. You don't want to start with a rounded shoulders. You want to make sure you have nice, good posture, a straight line going from your ears to your shoulders, to your hips, to your knees, to your ankles. And you want to maintain that posture the entire time. So you pull those shoulders back and down. You engage the hips. You engage the core. And as you go through the full range of motion, you maintain that posture. You maintain that core stability no matter how deep or how shallow you go. If you start to get to a point where those hips come up or you feel them dropping down, you know you're not ready for that progression yet. Walk yourself back out, reset that plank, and continue with the exercise. The same thing goes for a row. The row is designed to build up your back and your core as long as you're maintaining those same principles. Get yourself lined up, shoulders down and back and as you walk back if you have use of a mirror look to the mirror and make sure you have a straight line going from your ears shoulders hips knees ankles and as you perform the row maintain that posture the whole time don't let those hips drop don't let those shoulders round nice tight core nice smooth range of motion no matter how deep you go maintaining that posture and that core stability is going to give you the most out of this exercise and along those same lines, something for the lower body is being able to maintain the same mechanics, the same core integrity, or the way that your body's working from the hips down. So if we start with a great exercise, a split squat, or sometimes called an assisted lunge, you'll get yourself into an offset foot stance. And just using the TRX enough to give yourself a nice, comfortable range of motion. And what you'll notice is as I go down, my knee works forward a little bit, my knee's over my ankle, and I'm able to keep the tension in my hips and my core staying nice and tall because I'm just unloading as much as I need to into the TRX. The progression from that exercise is the balance lunge where it's the same movement but my back foot's not touching but I want the mechanics in that front leg to stay the same. I don't want to default to something where I'm leaning back. I want to keep the knee and the hip moving the same way and the same thing goes for that crossing balance lunge. If you find yourself falling back this way this is no longer a balance lunge, and you haven't earned that movement yet. Take yourself back a progression. Understand what it feels like to keep that core engaged, those knees moving forward. And then when you can replicate those same mechanics in the lower body in the balance lunge, you've earned it, and you've earned it into the crossing balance lunge. Remember, the little things about maintaining mechanics from regressions through progressions and always starting everything with a good plank is going to give you the best out of your TRX workouts. See you next time.